Yeah, and and it's just the compression of time uh, in general. You both the compression of the top three and top five spread time difference from first to third um, or first to fifth, and then the top ten time difference. How over the evolution of the sport, it's it's you know two thousand two Kovarik here. So this is twenty one years ago. Had I don't know if it still stands in men's, but the biggest win margin um, at the first race here. 12 sec, 12 odd seconds, um, somewhere along that thing. But um, in both, and it's great because it's actually even more, um, can be seen more clearly in the women's um, gap from like first to like what a top, like to get top 10, what the time is off the win. Um, and this court, Pompama, which we can get to in her, um, in her qualifying run, um, what she felt was like enough of a time to get her into the, the um, semi and the final. But um, so that gap has just come down um, and there all will be some tracks where it is a bit longer than others, like this would be one of them. Um, <clears throat> it's just, it just makes it like, it's just making the sport that much more gnarly, that much harder. And also it means there's so few less things that can go wrong. You can't make the little mistake and make up for it. You can't, and that you can't do that in one race, never mind the series. And you can't do that in one, like you have a semi and a qualifier. It's just simply too tight. And unless you one of the lucky protected few, um, you know, there's a lot of names um, that didn't race either the semi or didn't race the final. Um, and it's partly just, you know, new names are coming up and others are coming down. But like you're a little bit unlucky and you're not in the semi or a little bit unlucky and you're not in the final. And um yeah, it's it's there's no mistakes, you know. Um, you you you've just got to be the bike's got to be perfect throughout all sectors, and so do you, and and um, yeah, so does the equipment, really. Yeah, so the storylines we chatted about in the preseason, many of them sort of rung true, but the the sad part is what you've just mentioned. So you got Laurie Greenland, Deprella, Hatton, from a Hatton, a Deprella, and I might be missing. Oh, it was and Bernard Kerr, but he was protected. Those riders, minus Laurie, had bad luck twice, which is tough. I mean, that's that's luck, right? That's not the mm. the way the racing is uh, unfolding with semis. But it, those guys were in the top 15 in quali and then got caught out in semis with crashes or maybe weather, yeah. where, you know, the bit of rain, were they a bit more conservative? I was watching the timing going, sure, a lot of these riders are going a little bit slower. Is that fatigue? But it was probably maybe a little bit of rain or a little bit greasy or a little bit of vision, you know? And then, like you mentioned, the time gaps are so small, you're fighting for the top 30 spot, not the top 60. So you can't go, okay, I'm just going to mail it in. Tomorrow's another day. You know, you've got people fighting to get in like Greg Menard, you know, depending yeah. on where he started in quali, he's got to keep it on two wheels, but go aggressive enough to be in the top 30 in the world these days, which as we've spoken ad nauseum, is insane these days the time gaps are just too small and then if you're making the tracks technically easier to ride in places which you are because you're straightening it and they're faster the, there's yeah. less time gaps that you can put into someone or you can't make it up if there's a pretty gnarly section and you feel like you want to be aggressive you can maybe make up time but everyone's on the same line it's fast you know there's there's just less to make up so that's a little bit of like a challenge obviously with the format and you don't want to see someone like hatton not there the prella was fast in quali top 10 um yeah yeah so that's like a bit of a bummer yeah. and we had the same in the women you've got like a bunch of women that are like the next crop of riders that are already names that we know names that the fans know and you're like ah they're not in the final like would they have been able to step it up in the final you know 